Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to take a look at Cobalt Blue Deep. This is one of my favorite blues. It may be my favorite blues ever since I've used the uh, Kramer Pigments version of Cobalt Blue Deep. I have been hooked on it. This is the most granulating color that I have ever seen. So today we are going to paint some color swatches. I'm going to compare three versions of Cobalt Blue Deep PB74 versus the normal Cobalt Blue. Payment code for Cobalt Blue is PB28. This is Daniel Smith's Cobalt Blue in stick form. This is Old Holland Cobalt Blue Deep PB74. Stefan Quiller Watercolor Cobalt Blue Deep PB74. And with Kramer pigments, they call it Cobalt Blue Dark PB74. Cobalt is a toxic metal that can cause cancer, so you should exercise proper care when handling paints with cobalt. So we have the warning label here with the Stefan Quiller tube, but no warning label for the Old Holland tube. Let's paint some color swatches. I'm going to start with Cobalt Blue, PB28. This paper that I'm using, this is the Daler Rowney Aquafine paper. Next we have Kramer Pigments Cobalt Blue Dark. Now this paper is not that good for wet on wet techniques, but sometimes the granulation can be quite nice. Next we have Old Holland. Maybe a bit more to get the intensity. And lastly, the Stefan Quiller's version. The swatches have dried, so let's take a closer look. So Kramer Pigments, Cobalt Blue Dark, this is extremely granulating, and this is what I like about this particular paint. And even though these three, they are all PB74, um, they look a bit different. These two look more like ultramarine to me, except with more granulation. But this, this is a bit warmer compared to these two. And with Cobalt Blue PB28, you can see that the granulation here is finer. The paper that you use is going to affect how the granulation will look. The swatches in this sketchbook were painted on Lana Aquarel paper, which is also cold pressed, but the texture here is finer, so the granulation is not as coarse compared to the one on the Daler around the Aquafine paper. Here's a closer look at the Kramer Pigments Cobalt Blue Dark on different paper. This is Old Holland Cobalt Blue Deep. Stefan Quiller's Cobalt Blue Deep. Kramer Pigments version of Cobalt Blue Dark is why I love this color so much. I really like the granulation and this particular shade of blue. Now if you guys know of other brands that have this look, please let me know in the comment section below because I want to buy a tube. I've already bought two tubes of Cobalt Blue Deep with PB74 and as you can see, they look different compared to Kramer Pigments version. And now I'm going to paint this scene with Cobalt Blue and Cobalt Blue Dark. Let me show you the reference photo. So for the sky, I'll be using cobalt blue. For the shadows here on the ground and on the side of the building, I'll be using cobalt blue dark. For the greens, I'll mix cobalt blue dark with Hansa yellow medium. By the way, I have just released an online drawing course on perspective drawing. You may want to check that out. This is a one point perspective scene. The perspective drawing course teaches the basics of perspective, one point, two point, and three point. It teaches you how to um, observe perspective, how to un understand it, and basically how to apply it to make your sketches better, more accurate. And now for the fun part, this is Kramer Pigments Cobalt Blue Dark. Very intense. I shall mix it with a little bit of burnt sienna.
Let's take a look at the intensity of the blue. It's really lovely. Cobalt blue and burnt sienna looks like this. This is Kramer's cobalt blue dark with burnt sienna as well. Now with cobalt blue dark, you can mix a very dark shade, a very dark value very easily, very quickly. More so compared to ultramarine. This is Hansa yellow. Hansa yellow with cobalt blue dark. This is a rather warm green. Let's paint the second layer of shadow. And lastly, let's add the other colors. This is Hansa Yellow with Pyro Scarlet. So this is the completed sketch. We have cobalt blue in the sky and cobalt blue dark on the ground. As you can see, the look and feel of these two cobalt blues, they are very different. Cobalt blue is a really nice color for painting skies. And this is cobalt blue dark, the texture, the granulation, this is very distinctive. When I look back at all the sketches that I have painted, I can pick out those that were painted with Kramer Pigments Cobalt Blue Dark straight away because the granulation here, it's really eye-catching, it's really distinctive to me. I don't see this sort of granulation or this blue with other brands. Notice the concentration of pigment here and then it sort of fades off here. So the granulation here, it's not as obvious compared to here. So sometimes the granulation pattern can be a bit random, which is really lovely. That is the beauty of watercolor. When you mix burnt sienna with cobalt blue dark, you get something like this, which can be quite dark. But this color, this is pretty transparent, so it's great for using uh, with pen and ink. You see how the colors shift as I add some burnt sienna. So sometimes the granulation is fine, but sometimes it can be quite coarse. So that is why I love cobalt blue duck. Let me know in the comment section whether or not you use this color and which brand you use. I would love to hear from you. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out more watercolor videos, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video. Bye.